Hey, what's up, guys? We are checking out the OK Boomer TikTok compilation. So, here we go. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Dead Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old lady suck. OK Boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jay Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boom. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood. And that somehow... This one goes out... Wait, what they say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back and listen to that because that sounded like a bunch of crap, man. Okay, boom. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. So they said that, all right, so they're trying to say that Gen Z and millennials have the Peter Pan syndrome and they don't ever want to grow up. What? That's crazy. They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood and that somehow this one goes out <laughs> she did it best but okay boomer pull the 65 plus crowd on soundcloud I'm not gonna say much shout out jay will he gonna take over on the mic old lady suck okay boomer okay boomer okay boomer the millennials in generation dude, dude, just go make a Shopify store and market it and say, okay, boomer. Just put okay, boomer. They have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood. And that somehow... Ayo, hey, yeah. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not going to say much. Shout out Jay Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boomer. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood. And that somehow... This one goes out to all the 65 plus... So when he's talking about utopian ideals, is he talking about like... Boomers in general just like I mean I'm trying to understand what they mean by like our utopian ideas. Is it just like self-driving vehicles, like automation, of everything being technology based? We don't have to work as hard. Everything's turned into more of a more of a mental type of work instead of work that's uh, repetitive and physical. Like I'm trying to understand what he means by this. Our YouTube utopian ideas we had as kids not translate into adulthood. Is he talking about climate change? Is he talking about like we're not going to be able to fix climate change? So he's saying we need to grow up and not support it. I'm trying to understand what, what's going on. It's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Plus, Brad on SoundCloud. I'm not going to say much. Shout out Jay Will. He's going to take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jay Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boomer. Okay. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jay Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boomer, okay. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood. And that somehow... This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not going to say much. Shout out Jay Will. He's going to take over on the mic. Old lady suck. Okay, boomer. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. 
They think that the utopian ideals that they have in their youth are somehow going to translate into adulthood. <laughs> and that somehow... This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on Saturday. Oh, lady in my chair, you are so lucky to own your own business. No, it's so easy to have your own business now. Like, I started this YouTube channel with a freaking iPhone 4 in my mom's closet back in some apartments in Antioch somewhere. It's so easy to start your own thing. Like, and of course, it takes years to build, you know, but, like, <laughs> or it, sometimes it takes people, like, less, but... This lady is like, oh, you're so lucky to own your own business. No, if you stop buying uh, stupid hair and buying stupid stuff, like, and just buy stuff that can actually make you money, maybe a webcam, maybe. Dude, most of you have the tools to actually start a YouTube channel or start your own business. Like, I saw this kid literally start a business from his phone. He made a Shopify store from his phone marketed ads and everything straight from his phone it's not it's not that hard but some of you don't want to lose money to make money that's the problem with boomers they don't want to lose money they like stop saving money you don't need to save money it's stupid inflation is making the value go down it's like build something on the side and once you have enough capital start investing and then the money never stops it's always coming in and then stuff you buy for your business, even travel, can be written off on taxes. But it's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to work hard. And you're going to have to be patient. And you're going you're gonna to have to stop comparing yourself to everybody and stop looking around for answers and start working on yourself. But people don't want to do that. No one wants to sacrifice that amount of time. People, All the people I know, all the young people I know that are my age, I'm 23. They want to go out all the time. I may go out every once so often. I barely do it because I'm so focused on what I want to do that it's like, and I'm willing to sacrifice not being able to do a lot now to be able to do a lot later. Like when my trip with Hawaii, I probably would never go on a trip and get like, I mean, I'll go on a trip eventually, but I won't. I mean, you know, people just don't want to, just don't want to sacrifice. Like, they just don't. SoundCloud. I'm not going to say much. Shout out Jed Will. He going to take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boy. Not going to say much. Translate into adult. Out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not going to say much. All right, so the the I like how the um, the Gen Zer is saying, "Why is that?" Shout out Jed Will, he gonna take over on the. And she said, "It's just that tattoos aren't professional at all." I think a lot, like to be honest, I think a lot of boomers and millennials are about to get punched in the mouth by the economy here in the next five years. You know, because ad spend is going up on social media more than ever so my channel as it's growing in the algorithm will probably end up riding that way you know i've already seen the trend like people are about to get hit in the mouth they're they're really like people talk and stuff but a lot of people are about to get hit in the mouth by this new technological change and this has only been happening since 2005. stuff's about to get real man like i don't know like, dude, people always got something to say. This is why I don't even get on Facebook that much anymore. Like, I don't get on all these other social medias because they like everyone's talking about what they're gonna do, and I'm sleeping like five hours a day, just making content <laughs> every single day. And then 10 years later, I'm like, how'd you do that? And I'm like, man, I've been doing it since I was like, with this channel since I was 19 and I learned how to build a website at the age of 13 like I'll be looking crazy when when things are different you know but hey like I said like Elon Musk was saying you'll see it's crazy Mike old ladies suck okay boomer okay boomer 
This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. Ayo, hey, hey, yeah. This one goes out. <laughs> okay, boomer. New York Times, why are you reporting on this? Okay, marks the okay boomer marks the end of friendly generational relations. You can't have friendly generational relations if they dude, how are we supposed to be friends with these people? They say you have a business you're doing on side and they look at you crazy or they have some sort of resentment towards you. You can't be friends with people who do that. You can't look. There's people who probably still believe I don't make money on YouTube. This is how bad the boomer and millennial generation is. You can't have friendly relations with someone who didn't grow up with machine learning and AI algorithms and like smartphones and know how to use the technology. They like they lived in a time when that stuff didn't exist. So when we tell them they we literally have data and computers that can learn by themselves. They think it's right out of a fucking sci-fi movie because back in the 1980s, sci-fi movies were that. Sci-fi movies were AI, phones, and that can do crazy stuff. And now we have it, and we can like change the world in five seconds if we want to, with a freaking tweet. And they don't understand it. It's insane. <laughs> now, pull the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will, he gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. Ayo, hey, hey. Old ladies suck, Jed Will, he gonna take over on the mic. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will, he gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. You know, there was a time that you could tell a joke and nobody got offended. And if somebody did, you called them a pussy, everybody laughed, and you moved on. The times have changed, and people have gotten thin-skinned, so I'm sorry that y'all are pussies. <laughs> this one goes out for the 65 plus. Okay, so I agree. I do kind of agree with this boomer here where he says that we used to be able to, like, tell jokes and someone get offended, and you could call them the P word or call them just a punk if they got offended. Um, I do feel like that's the bad thing about like my generation Gen Z, like everything's offensive now. Because you have all these little groups that have their own groups on the internet. So of course, and then you got me right here disagreeing and agreeing with my generation at the same time. What's happening? <laughs> Y'all are pussies. <laughs> this one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. This crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boom. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. I'm not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> it's so true. This is like the truest thing I've seen. Where you uh you go and finally buy something that makes you look decent and people say you should stop wasting your, your parents or whoever's in your family or a friend says you should stop wasting your money on that but they made fun of you when you wear other types of clothes from Goodwill or whatever and they look at you funny and dude that is like the boomer and millennial mindset right there oh you go buy some decent clothes from us oh you're spending too much money you go get your clothes from Goodwill oh you shop at Goodwill <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Distasteful. <laughs> okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer. 
This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer, okay, boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boomer. Okay. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. <laughs> so this video right here is funny because the girl is wearing a football jacket and she says, Oh, that's your boyfriend's football jacket. That's a nice jacket. And she says, Oh no, this is my football jacket. I actually play football. And then the old lady says, Your body's not made for that. Which is like saying that basically women can't play football. <laughs> boomer. Hey, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. This one goes out to all the 65 plus crowd on SoundCloud. Not gonna say much. Shout out Jed Will. He gonna take over on the mic. Old ladies suck. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. So funny, dude. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if anything, don't be a boomer. That's the worst thing you want to be in this day and age is a boomer. If you're a boomer, just, I don't know. Just stick to your boomer ways, but don't try to impose on us new, new young people. All right, peace.